Hi, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 7.55 a.m. And Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday the 9th of September. I, as you know, my father Derek passed away on the 25th of August 2021. I'm trying to cope with helping my mum, trying to keep my sanity and trying to help my mum sort things out. Um, I went up to my mum's yesterday by taxi my mum being Jennifer, so I went up to my mum's by taxi and um, I sat there and waited until I had to go to the dentist. So I sat with my mum and I'm going to get my mum some food shopping. I'm, she, she, um, I wrote down a list, she told me what she needed and I'm going to get my mum some food shopping. Okay, so that she's got some food to eat and I, I'm probably going to go up to my mum's again Friday. Now while I was there, um, my mum rang the funeral co-op service and got through to the head office and said, look, this isn't good enough. I want to, to know what's happening to my husband's body. It's been lingering around in Medway Hospital and my mum, being my dad's wife, said, you know, I want my husband, you know, laid to rest. So later on in the morning of yesterday, um, I think it was a Karen from the co-op funeral service and Nicola both got back to my mum and said that they now have the body and it's going to be embalmed. My mum has paid money for my dad to have his nails clipped, his toenails and fingers nails manicured. She's paid for him to be embalmed. She's paid for him to be dressed. She's given the co-op funeral service Derek's clothes and Derek's blue slippers. And she's asked for him to have his hair done as well. Dad's had long grey hair so she's paid for that and she also told me she had paid for him to have a wash and his mouth rinsed out so he's having a full clean and a full dress and his toes and fingernails done right my mum is not going to view the body she wishes to remember my dad as he was and I respect her wishes I want to say goodbye to my father. I want closure. I want to say goodbye. I, my mum was with my father when he passed away. I was not. I want to say goodbye to my dad. So anyway, later on, a gardener from Southern Housing was outside while I was with my mum a gardener from Southern Housing was outside with a lawnmower and my mum went outside and said can Southern Housing help me the garden's got overgrown there's a there's a wasp or bee's nest in the garden and there's bracken which is growing over near my mum's French windows and he said, well, I'll have to get onto Southern Housing and I will tell you later on. Later on, he knocked on the door and said, he spoke to my mother, he didn't speak to me. So he's gonna apparently come back and help cut back the grass and the bracken. Um, and there is a bees and, or wasps nest in my mum's, next to my mum's bedroom window hornets or something buzzing all over the place so after that um, I got a taxi from my mum's 
to Ashley Lupin's dentist in Railway Street, Chatham, where the Asian taxi driver dropped me off at the back of the dentist in their car park. I got out of the taxi, I paid him cash, walked down, went into Ashley Lupin's dentist, and the female staff were ignoring me. Now I have had several treatments in that dentist, including nine teeth extractions, and they know who I am. So they ignored me like they didn't know who I was. They asked me my name and I booked in and she told me, the receptionist told me to go up to room number five. So I went upstairs and there was a woman sat on side, sat on the chair, a blonde woman was sat on the chair outside number five. I had no seat to sit down on. And then the blonde woman, there was a, a male dentist or, or a technician in there with a ponytail and he went to the blonde, blonde woman, he spoke to the blonde woman and I think he said, where's David? And she said, I think David's in there. So I went downstairs back to the receptionist and said, I've been told to wait outside room five. And then again, the, the, the receptionist staff were rude to me, Crystal, very rude. And the one big receptionist with the bun in her hair was going, have you been here before? To somebody on the phone, have you been here before? So I completely ignored the rudeness. Then I was told to go and sit outside room three. So I waited outside room three and there was a man in there having a tooth extracted because he came out with tissue in his mouth. Oh, they're really good in there, really good. He said, you're in safe hands. But uh, again, I got called into room three where the two female dental workers were rude to me. Hardly spoke, so I got, sat down on the couch and uh, she went, Crystal, um, it's not ready yet. So she said, you're going to have to come back. And remember, it was my father, Derek, that passed away, not me. So they hadn't even done the treatment that I needed. It hadn't been done, it had been left. And they dropped, they dropped my dental equipment on, on, the, on, the, on the couch. They dropped it. And then she went, oh, go and get some disinfectant. You'll have to disinfectant that. And they didn't even turn around and speak to me and say goodbye. Um, I said, what am I supposed to do now then? She went, I, 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 I have, I've had to make another appointment. I was treated with, oh, it was terrible. It was so rude. And Maddie was there. And she looked at me like that. I've just lost my dad, you know. I was kept waiting nearly half an hour and start, they were laughing in there. The staff were very rude to me and there was no need for it. So I went out of the dentist. I had to get food for myself. I'd had nothing to eat. It was, two, it was past two o'clock and I'd had nothing to eat. I was starving, my stomach was rumbling myself. I've got to look after myself, go and get my mum's food and cope with the fact now my father Derek's body is at Gravesend. My mum rang me last night and said Derek's body is at the co-op funeral service in Gravesend being in Balm. And I was supposed to view the body tomorrow. I was supposed to view my father's body tomorrow. Now I've got told Derek's body is at Gravesend, being in Balm. I don't know what's going on. This is very distressing and upsetting.
For me, Derek's daughter, it's very upsetting. 